much. I'm glad it flies off screen, but it still hits him. Like, it actually homes. And it does, like, stun damage. Like, this game is very much still a fighting game. Capcom. When they had to, when they used to care about the little details. But then again, it's simpler time to care about them, right? And that's why lots of indie developers are just picking up some of these cues that we grew up on seeing and are now creating amazing experiences. Guys, please go check out Bug Fables. And somebody please gift that to me. Please somebody gift that to me and please Switch, Nintendo, make make it make the ability to gift people stuff on Switch so that someone can gift me Bug Fables. It was amazing. Paper Mario Origami King looks great, but that game looks like it's got everything that Hollow Knight is talking about. Like, it's so crazy that bugs are becoming like this unilateral thing or, or inanimate objects like Cuphead. It's so, it's so, it's so groovy to see. Okay, so we got rid of him. They open, there's, sync, there's something in Stink Chameleon stage as well, but... Is it obvious? I can't remember. Is it... it's not a tank. Hmm, I can't think of what it is. I'm sure I'll remember when I see it. Oh yes, yes. This Argonaut. Mini boss is appropriate. Very good. This is a very smart thing to do. Capcom, man. Little details. Whoop. Trying to make sure that I don't die. Yeah, like they knocked it out of the park with Resident Evil 2 remake. But man, Resident Evil 3! Holy cow! Wow! You take out you're telling me the clock tower? And your intricate uh, multiple scenario system from the original Resident Evil 3 is such an arduous task for your billions of dollars and your hundreds of staff. That's hard, my guys. Replicating that one to one is like the most difficult thing ever. Seriously? Nah. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. You guys can't be serious, my guy. You can't be telling me that it's that hard. Looking more and more cool. Cool guy. And... The only reason I know that this is here is because, obviously. Now, I don't 
think I need any... Yeah. Yep. So that's two secrets. And one. He's got armor, I've got armor, everyone's got armor now. But yeah, Capcom, man, like... I mean, like, they're not the only company that's on notice, because a lot of people are realizing that a lot of big way companies are just... They have bad... I was even told by a friend recently that video game companies have a bad reputation of high turnover rate, and it's like, people are discouraged from going into gaming because, like, you're throwing your life away for crunch time and, like, being treated like a heap of meat for people who don't care about you for a, an obviously... Oh, that's where these worms... I was wondering where the worms came from. And like, where else were they in? But it's like, oh, they're in the, they're in these bark trees. That's why they're in the tubes in Sigma's Fortress. Interesting. But yeah, um... Going back to, uh... Game companies, they have bad reputations with designers and artists and programmers. And it's not looking, it's not getting, like, sometimes it sounds like it's getting better, a lot of the time it's not. It makes me sad as a designer to know that, like, I'm better off working on my own, making my own game, so that whatever game engine I want or whatever idea I deem like more of a worthy, like, span of my time, sucks. Because, like, Capcom used to have, like, a lot of trust, but then again, seems like things are changing, apparently. Like, there's a new direction, there's new blood going on at Capcom. Apparent, uh, this was in recent news. Uh, but, um, uh, Ono? From, uh, Mr., uh, the Blanca guy from Street Fighter, who's always got the little Blanca toy. He's been heading up Street Fighter. He used to be one of the, uh, lesser guys during the early days and they wanted to return Street Fighter back to their glory roots. That's why he pushed really hard for the marketing campaigns and directions to like bring Street Fighter back in a big way. And he, he did work really hard because I love Street, Super Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 4, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Arcade Edition 2012. Like I'm going to be playing some matches of that on this channel as well. But it's just so sad to know that like it takes you have to get like, like Maximilian was apparently talking about it in, and it's true, in Japanese culture, you're usually pushed to the corner, and then you're, you have to be, like, that's how you, you don't quit, you have to, you have to leave, um, because you are, you, like, they can't fire you, firing people is, is, is bad. It's too negative of a thing to do, so they don't fire. You just get pushed to a corner like Kojima was pushed to a corner, and you resign because there's just literally no reason for you to be there anymore. Because it's obvious that you're, either your contract is out or they want you gone. Because you can't do as much as you used to, and it shows in, in Street Fighter V, like, since the inception. Like, I have not been impressed with that art direction, the way that that game feels. Like, I will be making... I feel like I'm going to be making a lot of informational content towards how I truly feel. You got Chameleon's thing about how I feel between Street Fighter 4 and 5. It's like day and night. Like Street Fighter 4 it feels like penultimate Street Fighter. Like I know people still swear by um, Third Strike, and I'll play Third Strike. I can. I've been playing Third Strike on the anniversary collection of Street Fighter for Switch for a couple of weeks now during this COVID thing, and gotten pretty good. Um, Sorry to toot my own horn, but I, I have been getting better, and I I'm feeling like I'm going to be in a better place to truly evaluate like what I feel about the entire Street Fighter franchise because I have access legally to all of the major releases of the Street Fighter series. It's gonna be fun. This channel is gonna be fun. I'm gonna make it fun because it's what I want to do. Because I want to inform myself. I want to like do deep dives and discover like why I like games the way I do. This is about self-discovery just as much as it is about like helping people and wanting to understand yourself better 
is a great motivation about why you want to help people in the first place. Because it can give people, like, an idea. And your opinion and thoughts, because they're your thoughts, are already enough on an individual basis that if you truly research and understand what you're talking about and you talk about it in front of a camera, guys, trust me, people are going to resonate with that and they're going to be like, huh, this person has a point. This is not something that you have to be scared of doing. Being a YouTuber, being a Let's Player, not hard things. It's just a matter of like figuring out what you want to do and why you want to do it and then telling people about why you do it. I keep messing up here because there's a heart container at the top. Oh yeah, the airport is in the middle of a desert. This game is so cool. So many small details and like graphical. By the way, like, I saw the ending of this game, like, I forgot about it a long time ago, but the stages' names are not what you think they are. You think they're called, like, this is Airport? It's like, it's not called the Airport, it's called Storm Eagle Stage. It's called Eagle Stage or something. <laughs> Storm Stage. It's like, wow, not the most inspired name. <laughs> but then again, it's like, who cares? It's one of the most inspiring games of all time, so influential. Raised a generation. Showed you what good action platforming does in 32 bits. Wow. Oh yeah, like, can I... Hmm. It's too bad you need, too bad you need, um, the Hyper Tornado. Like, pop those open because if you don't have the fire you can get that as well so you can come back to this stage like right after this actually and get it's another little piece of tidbit that I learned on the first playthrough so I look more like an expert look skilled Trying to get some health back. Oh, oh. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Looking for the half damage. There you are, Storm Eagle. I'm right. Hmm.
Hmm. Gotcha. Chameleon Sting's a really great move. Should I just hop back in this level and then move on? Because I can easily hop back in this level. Yeah, let's do that. You got Storm Tornado. Saving. Just so that people don't wonder, like, what's over here. Hell. I mean, if you're a veteran, you already know that there's, like, nothing in these, in those, uh, partitions. It's just hell. The uh, secret was at that place that, uh, the flammable. Oh, whoa, jeez. Forgot to charge and let go immediately. Ready. Should I go get that life? There's a guaranteed life in the stage. There's a guaranteed life in a lot of stages. It's probably not as important as I think I'm thinking it is. Oof. That that go that was scary. Whoa! With all these bottomless pits, get scary around here. Airport 1001. That's supposed to be a... 101 building reference? Probably. Wait. Still gotta come up here. Bottomless pits. Everything's still recording. That's good. I wonder how Mega Man X2 is gonna go. Not sure. Don't know even when I'm gonna get a chance to play that. Oh, idiot. What is wrong with me? that was going to happen, so I was prepared this time. And that's the whole thing about this game, be prepared. Being a Sonic player teaches you how to be a good Mega Man player, I feel, sometimes. Because you have to do the whole running and jumping thing really well and precisely. But because Sonic's attack is tied into his movement, it's easier. You get more safety nets. X doesn't have that luxury, because he has to take damage if he's just gonna take that if he 
If you're in a position to take damage, you're just gonna take damage. Actually, this is a waste. Yeah, I don't know if there's actually a waste of time. There's nothing. There's no bonus. So there's no benefit. Trying not to die again, arbitrarily. Trying to die only to like actual earned deaths, not mistakes, not me being dumb. And don't worry, I'm not self depreciating for likes. I'm just saying like I did a, I I made an error. I made I made a human error. I can understand my own humanity. Doesn't mean I doesn't mean I hate it any less. <gasps> I didn't jump at the same time when I dashed. I pressed the buttons and it didn't happen. And now there's recorded footage of me jumping into a pit like an idiot because people can't see what my inputs were. I really should like change how fast my PC goes to sleep. It goes to sleep way too quickly for my tastes. Be at least 40 minute intervals. Or at least 60 minute intervals. These sessions are going to be long. I try to give everybody, I try to make every episode half an hour around. Because it's, it's like what a lot of people like to watch. That's what I've seen. That's what I personally see people like. If people want me to do longer episodes, um, that's fine. Uh, just let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll, I'll as soon as I see that being a request, I'll be okay. It probably should be a thing for RPGs, but I'll we'll we'll keep doing RPGs. We'll keep doing episodes of half an hour, and then we'll decide how people feel about it afterwards. But I already have a feeling like RPGs, yeah, should probably be like hour-long episodes because you get to, you don't do very much unless you're in a very simple RPG like. Pokemon. Trying super hard not to die to stupidity. My own, not the game's. This game is crafted pretty well. I do everything on purpose. A lot of snoop that's like the thing about Super Nintendo. Everything seemed on purpose. Everything, every pixel was like perfect. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. Wait. Can I go back? Because I think I... The chance that I missed the... No, I don't think I did miss it. I think I'm being silly. I haven't gotten to the area, the area where it is yet. And I'm just thinking that I have. Wow. I like one shot kill moves. Yeah. I almost wasted a lot of my tornado. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet, which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Six 
sick headgear, bro. Tring. Boom. And that's the helmet. It's like, why not get out now? It's like, why? It's a free life in here. I'll get out then. So, all the bosses except for you. And this area is already frozen over. I like how the area, all the levels change dynamically because of you beating the other bosses. And all this lava is frozen. Don't even have to sweat it. Don't even have to sweat this, don't have to sweat any of this. Okay, so we have a secret up here, as you probably can tell. This capsule contains a part which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Which basically means that if you charge up your any of your special weapons, they will do their special and do like an all all screen clear. Now we have the pink beam. Bunch of little miniature Hadoukens. But don't worry. Don't worry about that little thing I just said there. We'll be getting that too. Open heart container right there. Such a well crafted game. Oh yeah, there's like there's a lot of stuff in this stage, which is actually also Hammer Bros. Pickaxe Bros. That was a Mario inspired enemy in a Mega Man game. all the secrets of Mammoth stage. Don't think we have everything yet. Did I get every heart? No. Yeah, I also have to go back I have to go back to uh, Spark Mandrel stage. To get the E-Tank there. 